Jennifer Beck, creator of Fisher Kids Responsibility Station. And today, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about our consequence center. This is something that we came up with because we have the question often, well, what do you do if your kids just don't follow through with things? And I think there's a lot of answers to that question depending on your family. And certainly, before you ever even start this program or any program trying to teach um, responsibility to your children, it begins with dialogue. And it's simply just letting your kids know that the family is a team and that together, if everybody works together and everybody helps out the family team, that ultimately you'll have more time to spend together as a family. So certainly dialogue starts out. But then there's some other ways that you can either keep up the motivation or explain to your children that there are consequences for dropping the ball on the family team. So we did come up with the consequence spinner. Now in our family, this is our son stationed, and you can see he's taken some artistic license with his paycheck, but that's one of the things that we founded our company upon was keeping kids challenged, keeping them creative, um, keeping them curious, but also keeping everything in a controlled home environment. So this is Henry's responsibility station, and our daughters are up there, but you can see that he's the one with the consequence spinner because he's almost seven and he's the one that still needs to understand that there are consequences for his actions. So we've developed the consequence spinner to hang by a grommet directly on your station and it's a dry erase board. It comes with a dry erase marker and you simply fill in the consequences um, for the behavior. Now, I understand that the punishment should fit the crime, but what Greg and I found ourselves doing often was getting frustrated with the children's behavior or their actions and then saying, well, if you don't do this, you're going to be grounded. Well, that certainly didn't make sense because we were about to leave for vacation, for example. So, I mean, our punishment never fit the crime, and we tended to let our uh, frustration bubble to the surface so that it was clouding our judgment uh, for our children. So at least this way, we can fill in in advance, in advance some um, consequences for behaviors. And so whenever the negative behavior happens in our household, Henry, in particular these days, it used to be the girls, now it's Henry, comes and he simply spins for his consequence. And what that does is that keeps us from letting our frustration again bubble to the surface uh, to the point where we're giving ludicrous consequences for his behavior, but also all we have to do now is we just have to say, you know what, buddy, you're going to spin. And that's really all it takes for him because he knows he has to come over here and spin. And we have some consequences on here. It's really up to you what you put on here because, again, it's a dry erase board. We did build in a grace space, uh, just teaching the concept and the art of grace, that everyone does deserve grace from time to time. And no, it's not weighted, so your kids won't land on grace every single time. We've written our own consequences on our spinner. Uh, of course, there's still the grace space, but then we've written things like write an apology letter. Um, we call it poop shuffle in our house, which is cleaning up the, the dog's mess in the backyard for two weeks, double chores, triple chores. Um, being a former science teacher, one of my favorite things about it is that we put Newton's third law of motion on here. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction, which, tr again, trying to drive home the negative consequences um, for negative behavior. But please keep in mind that you can also use this for positive consequences as well. It doesn't always have to be negative. We don't always have to be driving home the bad news. So when the kids do something great, have a positive consequence spinner. Fantastic job spin for it, and then there's a reward for it. Now, obviously, we all know that the best reward is the intrinsic reward, um, but sometimes we all take a little bit of motivation, but also sometimes it's nice to be rewarded for your good deeds. Um, not so great to be rewarded for your not so great deeds. Anyway, check out our consequence spinner, www.fisher-kids.com. Click on Go Shopping at the top, and thanks for watching. Thank you.